I told you I was gonna take you to Italy. Well, we were in the Apennine, you know, the chain that goes down the boot. Now I'm taking you to the Alps, all the way in the left side corner of the Alps, where the Fontina, this wonderful cheese is made. Uh, you know, those pastures up, the Alto Piano, really makes the milk rich and hence the cheese delicious. And we're gonna stuff some pork chops with that cheese and some ham. So, the stuffing, the lamb, chopped tomatoes, squeeze out the seeds and the extra juice, the fontina, shredded, shredded fontina, this is a cheese that really melts so beautifully. And you know, who doesn't love melted cheese? And here are the little cornichons, you know, with the ones that I like. Just chop them up and include them. And they will bring a nice acidity. They will bring a nice crunch to, to the stuffing. So that's the stuffing, that simple. This is the, the meat. So the bone comes around here of the pork chops. I cut that off because it is easier to cook. But otherwise, you could just split the meat and leave the bone on, and it would take longer to cook. Uh, but what you do need, we need to make a pocket. So just open it up, butterfly it. Now you can see if you have the chop, you leave the bone and you just kind of go in and you butterfly it. And we need to pound it a little bit, open a piece of plastic wrap on it, it will prevent the meat from splattering and breaking. And as you're hitting it, uh, use the, the flat, not the dentals, because you don't want to break up. And you see, as I'm hitting it, I am kind of pressuring, pressuring it out so it stretches. OK. Try not to open it up too much, because then you lose your stuffing. But this is fine. And let's put some of the stuffing, just like that, kind of make it into a, into a mound like that. You want to put stuffing in there, you know, plenty, because the cheese will melt. It will ooze out. Let's seal it. We'll pin it together with toothpicks so that it stays in there. And I would say that, you know, three toothpicks would do the trick. One on each side. And one across. Just like that. So this is delicious with pork, but you can see how you can do it with chicken as well. If that's what you prefer, get some chicken breast and you make it into a pocket and stuff it and do the same thing. So let's season it with salt, because I didn't season it yet on both sides. Either skillet, a heavy skillet will do, or this casserole, because we'll finish it off in the oven. Here, I'll get ready some combination of olive oil and butter. Get some flour. I'll just slightly pass it in the flour, shake off any excess flour. And here we want just to caramelize it and we'll make the sauce, the beginning of the sauce, and then we'll put it in the, in the oven. And this is a festive dish. It's rich. It has ham and fontina cheese in there. Fontina is used in a lot of Italian recipes for stuffing, especially meat. But you could use cheddar cheese. You could use monster cheese. You can use any other cheese that you have available. Uh, inside, also, the stuffing. A little tomato for freshness. I put a little of the cornichons. That's for crunch. But again, there you can put prosciutto and, uh, or any other things that you like, or omit it all together. So this looks great. A nice crust. Mm -hmm. 
the lemon juice. Let's put a little bit of salt just for the sauce. And this can go in a preheated 400 degree oven. And in half an hour, it's nice and bubbly, ready for your guests when they arrive. Can open just a, a little bit of fire underneath to keep it bubbling and keep the sauce going. So you, you, I like this crispiness on top. I don't want to get that wet. I need to pull out these toothpicks. These are not the easiest to grill because the meat tightens up and it clamps on the toothpick. So just let's position it good so it gives me a good, okay. So you want to do this before your guests come, or you want to give it to your guests. Let them figure it out. There you go, like that, comes out. So let's push this one out. This is the hardest part of the recipe. All right. Let's put it back in so it stays warm. Bring them nice to temperature again, and we're ready to serve them. You can do it family style, certainly. Just like that. You can do it individual. This is for Lydia to taste, so I can tell you. So here I have some, some great sauce. And the sauce has the cheese that has melted in it, and it's good. You could just use it like that, or you could just pass it through a sieve, and so you have the clean sauce, and just pass as much as you can of the sauce right through the sieve. Okay, I think that looks great. Let me put a little bit for me, for Lydia. Just a little bit of parsley. And if I'm gonna present it to the table, I'll take a little bit of the parsley directly from the branch, just like that. This always looks, looks good. And maybe just put it here. So this is great to bring to the table. And this is a hearty meal, the ham, the cornichons, all of that. So I need a little bit of good red wine. I think that anything in the Sangiovese family is fine. Sangiovese is a good Chianti. Uh, Sangiovese also makes a great Brunello di Montalcino. And Sangiovese varietal uh, named Morellino also makes a Morellino. But let's get into serious business here. And it smells delicious, it looks delicious, it is tender, the cheese, the tomatoes, the cornichons. I need to get another bite to really get it, get the message to you. Mm. Wow, those two bites call for a sip of great wine. But before I do, I want to invite you, as I always do. So, let's go. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. Salute!